Hello everyone, how's it going today? This is Nick here. Just figured uh, as I'm going out to uh, the Queen Elizabeth wetlands with the rat tomorrow, yeah I'm going for a bit of father doggy time tomorrow with the rat, uh, for the weekend, I'd uh, show you what gear I'm bringing with me, both for myself and for him. Um, the only things I don't have here are my snowshoes, which are in the garage, the poles, the gaiters, and uh, my thermal water bo bottle cover, which I'll be grabbing afterwards. But apart from that, everything is here. Uh, I'll be showing that as we go along. But I'm going to start with uh, the, the bag, the, my sleeping system, and of course my waterproof uh, covering. So let's get to it. So as you can see, top right hand corner here, when I'm looking at it, is my Belgian Army backpack. 120 uh, 110, 120 liters, something like that. Has two zip off side pouches. And they, the good thing about these, as well as a lot of the military ba uh, Bergens nowadays, backpacks, or however you want to call them. Straighten that out, get that top side of these. Is that they, they zip off and they zip together uh, into a day sack. So that's a good thing. So as you can see, I've got a strap on each side, each side. So when I get to camp, if I want to leave the main backpack at, at the tent, I can and go off exploring. I zip these two together or even zip, just take one. Depends how long I'm going to go for. And then I just, just head off that way. So that's the Belgian Army backpack. There'll be more, you'll be seeing more of that this weekend. The top of here, I have all my waterproof bags for inside the Bergen to line it, line it with. Um, I never put loose gear just inside the bat inside the Bergen just in case my Bergen gets wet or uh, I've got wet gear that needs to go in there I've got a backpack I've got a waterproof covering plus I also bring garbage bags with me too just in case but you never know you never know when boots are gonna get wet socks are gonna get wet you and you've got to get out of the area you just throw them in the garbage bag chuck them in your backpack you're good to go and then your other gear is gonna get wet then I have my rain gear right here You've seen that on my layering show. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll basically uh, put a link to that in the top corner of this video at the end. Um, and you can also see what, what warm gear I'm bringing with me. All the warm gear, basically all, almost all the warm gear in that video I'm bringing with me this weekend. Uh, moving on, sleep system. Okay, move, going from the bottom to the top. On the very bottom, I have a ground sheet keep the moisture away from us because I'm going to have Duncan, Duncan's going to be sleeping under the sleeping bag with me so I keep keeping him nice and warm and keep me warm as well so I have a ground sheet on top of the ground sheet to keep uh, keep him warm is uh, I'm going to have a wall, a wall blanket and then on top of that I got the Thermarest this is a, a medium Thermarest three quarter length this is the Trail Scout Thermarest um, I'm using this one, it's a bit more resilient against his talons um, than my other one I've got. I've got like a two inch thick, one that blows up to two inches thick, um, which he'll definitely punch out, which I don't want him to do. So I, that's why I'm bringing this one with me. Uh, and that, that, that's, that's my sleep system mainly. Also, I, bring, I like to always like to bring a spare tarp. This is a 10 by 10 tarp. Even though I'm, I'm bringing the hot tent with me this time, I bring uh, I bring a spare tarp with me anyway. And last but not least, my first aid kit, which is going to get strapped to the, to the outside of my backpack somewhere, which uh, I'm not going to find yet because I haven't actually had this in the back on the backpack yet. So this backpack's fairly new. This will be the second. This will be the first main outing with this burger. So that's uh, that's my sleep system, that's my carrying system, my rain gear, my first aid kit. Right, next lot of gear. This is just my other knickknacks uh, that I will be carrying for myself. Okay, so first things first, hot tent and hot tent stove. And inside the hot tent stove, all I have is the the uh, chimney and of course the uh, set of leather gloves just to keep me from burning my hands when I'm handling the wood. I have, there's the tripod for it too, right there, that'll get strapped to the side of my backpack. This is my, I'm bringing my billy can this time, I'm basically, I'm going to have water in there the whole time I'm there, and it's going to be on the stove, keeping warm the whole time I'm, in, I'm out this weekend. Both for me and Duncan, just to keep, keep nice warm water coming. So, that'll be on the stove all weekend, and a lot of my food, my tea, will be going inside that. 
Uh, I have a plate and of course a gripper for the top of this. So that's my food system there, that's my bitty can. Next, I have my water bowl, spoon and mug. Of course, very basic. Uh, bit of whiskey, of course. Now you always want a nice little tipple when you go out into the woods, if you're old enough to drink that is. Then I have my whittling knife. This is uh, my little, this is my uh, Warren Cutlery um, multi blade whittling knife. It's got uh, some nice crooked blades for, for carving out uh, some, some bowls and some mugs and some spoons. So I might use that this weekend to see what I can craft out of it. Let's play around again. I've not made a uh, burnout bowl in a while. So let's see what we can do. My flashlight. I have 50, meter, 50 yards of paracord, some duct tape for patching up, patching up tarps and things like that. You'll see there's lots of duct tape on that one tarp. And a candle, a spare candle. I got my InReach SE Delorme. That's so everyone knows I'm alive and well. I can I can basically check in when I'm out in the middle of nowhere, um, and people can let me know if there's any any emergencies at home so I'll just basically check that once a day and send a message out say I'm, I'm not dead so that's basically the reason I got that I'll do more on that once I uh, play around with it a bit more I'm bringing my shovel with me soon to be replaced I'm thinking I'm gonna go and get myself a cold steel um, Spetsnaz shovel just to replace this one might be a little bit lighter too we'll see I kind of this one gets a pain in the butt when it's uh, when it's been tightened up for a while. It's a pain in the butt to um, undo it again and fold it up because it's a cheap one. That's where it happens when you're cheap for certain things. Uh, I have my Yuko candle for uh, a little bit of extra light in the tent so I can give my head torch a rest. And it's a nice, just a nice, nice uh, light for when you're in the tent. I got my pine pitch glue stick. Find a little container to keep it in. Tinder bundle bag, which will be this will be hooked to my belt. So as I as I go around, I'm an opportunist. I'll I'll grab myself some tinder off of trees when I find whenever I find it. Let's say you should be when out when you're out there bushcrafting or if you if you're doing survival training. If you see tinder, take it when you can because you never know if when when you stop, you never know if there's going to be a good tinder source there. So always take some dry tinder um, whenever you find it. Back of a Laplander saw, I always take this with me. Great little saw, I'd recommend this for anybody. Always take that with me. It fits in my pocket, perfect. A uh, couple of tarp clips. Yeah, sure, I can make these out there, but I got an extra couple just in case. Uh, I need I need some extra tension on the tent, or if I want to string up a tarp somewhere, and I need an extra couple of tie points. They're always handy to keep, and they don't take up much with me either. I bring in. The number six for me this weekend, because I'm not bringing an axe. Um, because last time I went out, the first time I tested the, the this hot tent, I found I, I the logs I only needed for inside the hot uh, the stove were only three inches wide, three three inches thick. So really, I can get away with just typically three inches thick. I can get away with just the back over the knife. But I'm thinking just in case I want some extra cutting power and to try out my new saw. Figured I'd bring this one too, which is uh, it's my this is my new one, my new baby. This is my 13 inch chameleon speed cut saw. Basically, picked this up from Princess Auto for $24, and basically, it's a, it looks like a cheaper, a slightly cheaper version of a silky saw. Um, yeah, and it cut, cuts beautifully too, and you'll be seeing that this weekend. And it comes with a lovely plastic sheath. Bit more lightweight than my other my other D-handled saw because uh, that one's been that one's been through the wars a little bit and uh, so I need a replacement so I picked this one up and so that's uh, that's the rest of my main gear really a um, few other things I'm going to add to this just uh, some what I carry on my person I'll carry a cuts kit that's going to be on my belt at all times because yeah I'm notorious for cutting myself when I'm out there. Just on random stuff, and there's a few. There's band aids in there. There's gauze. There's gloves. There's anything I need to patch myself up if 
if something happens. Uh, when I'm when I'm round foraging, my main ferro rod. Got my Swiss Army knife in my pocket. Bag always goes everywhere with me. And then I have my notepad, my um, lighter, whistle, and my compass inside this this uh, nifty little thing. And that goes inside my pocket. And I got myself a basic little survival kit, uh, which has got matches, extra tinder, um, what else is in there? Uh, sharpening, a sharpening tool. Uh, it's got a mylar blanket, so extra things like that. Just little stuff for when I go out foraging, and I'm, I'm away from my backpack. I'll uh, have that have that basically on me. So that's that's uh, that's everything of mine I'm taking with me. You know, um, the only thing that's not here, like I said, are the snowshoes, poles, gaiters, uh, the thermal water bottle cover, and food. That's it. That's the only thing that's not with me. And you'll be seeing that in the, in the video this weekend anyway. Cool. On to the dog stuff. Oh, one thing I want to add about the hot tent stove. Um, whenever you're taking a hot tent stove with you, don't rely on it. But what I mean is don't pack knowing that you're going to be in a nice warm hot tent all weekend because you never know when that if that thing is going to go out uh, if it's going to if something's going to happen and you lose it you want to make sure you've always got warm gear with you warm sleeping system with you so you don't have to you don't have to rely on it if that goes out in the middle of the night do i want to get out my nice warm sleeping bag to really stoke it back up again or relight it, I'll relight it, I should say, because I'll always stoke it back up again. But to relight it, nah. I'm gonna stay in my nice warm steam bag, cuddling with cuddling with Duncan there, because he, he's like a radiator as it is. So yeah, always pack for always pack for the conditions anyway. Even if you're bringing a hot tent stove, big uh, big uh, big hint there for you, big tip. So yeah, All right onwards to uh, what I'm bringing for Duncan. So last but not least is uh, Duncan's gear, as well as Duncan, as you can see, I got him right here. <laughs> so, of course, I'm gonna need a lead for him, so I've got a lead for him, and poo bags. I'll be bringing poo bags in me anyway, um, but they're in the cupboard, so I'll I'll grab those out. They'll be they'll be going in my pocket. Um, I always bring a set of booties with me. He doesn't usually wear them um, because. When he's out in the snow, I find these more of, a, more of an accident waiting to happen than if he's not got them on. Um, because it, I find he slips a lot in those. And I'd rather him use his claws to, not, to grip the ice and just keep checking his paws every now and again. Um, just to make sure they're alright. And for him to be bounding around and slipping all over the place and potentially breaking a hip or a leg. So I, I tend to just keep these just in case he injures a paw or he cuts himself and I can put them on him just to keep him keep him at bay, keep it protected. So that's the booties. They will be they go inside his backpack with his foldable water bowl slash food bowl. This is this one is basically a do it all for him when I'm out in the bush. I'll be I'll put I'll put food in there and then I'll put water in there for him too. So he gets the hydration plus the food. And I also take a, a ton of treats out there as well because he's gonna be burning up a ton of calories, and I want to keep him in. I want to keep his engine engine burning, and I'll keep him warm out there. So that's uh, that's gonna be that's a biggie. Um, his backpack is a one tigress cam all canvas backpack. Uh, it's got uh, two two nice big pouches plus a couple of slip on slip uh, side slip in pouches. And basically all he's going to carry in this, like I said, are his booties, his food bowl, and he's going to be carrying his food in there for a couple of days. So that's all he's going to carry in there, and that'll also keep him nice and warm too when he's running around. For around camp, I got him a hoodie. This is a hood, just a, one of my hoodies for when, for when we're in the tent and want to go to sleep. I'll put this on him to keep him nice and warm. Um, he's probably going to get too hot, so I'll probably end up taking that off him in the middle of the night. Because uh, he's gonna be under the under the covers with me, and then for a round camp during the day when he's not running around and bounding through the snow, he has his uh, his main main jacket, his main big quilted jacket. Of course, that could get wet. That's why I got the additional hoodie for inside the tent. 
in the middle of the night. Of course, we've got a treat with me now. That's why he's, he's begging for it. Wait. Can you wait? Wait. Wait. No. Ah, fail. Fail. Go on, take it away. Take it away. So, yeah, that's so basically all my gear. Uh, next thing you know, I will have it in the backpack and I'll show you what it's like when it's all packed up. Cool. There you go. So, there you have it. There's everything I said I'd be putting it inside there, inside the bag. And uh, all there's left to go in there now is food, which will be going in this side pouch here. This bag just keeps eating kit. It's crazy how much you can get in here. Um, I just weighed it. It's probably up to 60 pounds. So should be a should be a good hike in. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically all my gear for the weekend. Thanks for watching. Cheers.